Hey everybody, it's Lori. Um, I don't know how many of you know, but I'm kind of homebound for a while. I don't go out much. Um, so I thought I would do a collection update. Um, it gives me something to do and I can get at my desk for a little bit. I know the boxes are still over there that need to be burned in my we're burning stuff over there, but it's Texas and it's in the bay, so it's hot as hell. So they aren't gonna be burned anytime soon, but I gotta find something to do with them. I don't know what yet. But I'm gonna start with the A's and then go all the way to Z. Oh gosh, and then I'll do like the multiples, which is more than one movie on a disc, and then I'll do numbers. Um and then I don't know what. Maybe I'll do Blu-rays. I don't have a whole, whole lot of Blu-rays still in their cases. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to show you part of these. Um, part of them you can't really see. Kind of, I'll, I'll just, as an example, you can't really see much on that one. So, ones like that I'm just going to read and tell you what they are. The other ones I'll show you. Um, but here's the stack of the A's because I don't have room to put DVD cases and Blu-ray cases. I just don't have room for that for the amount of movies that I have. So, <clears throat> here we go. Here's the A's. Artificial Intelligence. A Beautiful Mind. And if y'all have seen these, let me know what you think. Um, some of them I've seen, some of them I haven't. A Bridge Too Far. History of Violence. Absolute Zero. The Abyss. Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values. Adventures of Ford Fairlane. AFV Kids and Animals. Dylan and I love the AFV show. That and Whose Line Is It Anyways? Probably two of our most favorite TV shows. And Mrs. Brown's Boys, but it's a UK show and it's hard to find over here. I mean, you can get the DVDs on, I want to say Amazon maybe? Because that's what I got for Christmas. But they're usually region locked. I think I just got lucky and mine aren't. But anyway, another AFV nincompoops and boneheads. AFV sports spectacular. It's another one you can't really see, and it's Airbud. And then Airbud Golden Receiver. Airheads. Um, Aladdin, and I'm pretty sure this is the live action, the Alamo, and then the, like, second disc of the Alamo, Aliens of the Deep, I really like sharks and nature documentaries, so I have that one, this is... Alien vs. Predator, A Little Help, no idea whatsoever what it's about, All Hallows Eve, Menezich's Alligator, um, Steve, Kesher One, I think is his YouTube name, um, had a poster in his videos and I ask him about it and it's like one of his favorite movies so you know he I guess likes the same kind of movies I do I love creature features so I had to get it and it's a really fun movie to watch Alone in the Dark I think that's a maybe a Donald Pleasance movie but I'm not sure um, Altered Amazing Adventure, Cary Grant. I love, love Cary Grant. He's my favorite of all time. American, America's Serial Killers. 
disc one. It's got Charles Manson on the front. America Serial Killers Disc 2. No idea who that is. American Beauty. I saw that when it came out and it just, I don't know whether it went above me. I, I didn't get it. Um, I'll have to rewatch it to see if I like it this time because I didn't really care for it last time. It was kind of creepy to me, the old man, the young girl. It just kind of creeped me out. Um, my brother used to watch American Chopper and I would record it on TV on VHS tapes for him and that's what I would give him for Christmas. What I would do the season throughout the year and that's what I would give him for Christmas. Well, this was one of my favorites and it's the Black Widow bike. Can you see that? See? Yeah, you can't see it. It is so awesome. I love that bike. American Gangster which again I've never seen. American Gothic. American Mary. American Psycho. Amityville Horror, the original. I have seen that one. Amityville Horror, the remake. I've also seen that one. An Affair to Remember, which is another Cary Grant. Actually, I think that was probably my first Cary Grant movie. Um, another Cary, nope, nope, this one isn't. An American in Paris, uh, I want to say Gene Kelly, but it could be wrong. Fred Astaire or Gene Kelly. One of those. Um, an American Tale, Mystery of the Night Monster. I think that's like the third one. American Werewolf in London, love it. Angel's Crest, I've seen it, but I don't remember anything about it. Animal Rescue, another little critter. Um, Annabelle, seen it. it. To me it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. I watched it with a friend and she screamed like a little princess, but eh, it was okay. Um, must watch at Christmas for Dylan and I, me and Dylan. Um, Annabelle's Wish. Ants. Um, the Ape, oh, Apocalypse of the Dead, At Pupil and Secret Window, that really should be in with my dupe, my multis, Arachnophobia, Arb Arbitrage, Arb I, I don't know. That one, whatever the hell you do, how do you say it? Here's the one. Um, see, you can't really see it. Um, it's another Cary Grant. It's Arsenic and Old Lace. Really, really, really funny movie. Um, this one is Assault on Precinct 13. I couldn't tell you. It says 76, so I would assume it's the original. A Star is Born, the original. Um, what is this? Astro Zombies? Not a clue. At First Sight, pretty sure that's the one with Val Kilmer and Mira Sorvino where he plays a blind masseuse. It was okay. Um, The Avengers. And last but not least in the A's, and for tonight is Awful Truth, which is another Cary Grant movie. If y'all have seen any of these, let me know what you think or which one I really need to watch. You know, next. Um, I've slowed down way a lot. Way a lot. That doesn't make sense. I've slowed down watching my physical media because I have to get up and down, up and down in my wheelchair and it's not so easy right now. Um, like I said, I have a lot going on. Um, so Dylan has to switch the movies for me, and he tends to get a little pissy every now and then. Um, so I've been trying to watch more streaming on my Voodoo or on my Roku. So, But if there's anything in here y'all think I really need to watch, 
um, put it in the comments and I'll try to check it out. Thanks. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time for the bees. And apparently it looks like I have a lot of bees. Bye. Mwah.